Hello everybody, welcome to the Sintatar Fragrance channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for supporting my channel and uh, being a friend as always. If you do like my content or are new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's not waste any time and jump straight into the video. Before I do, I wanted to say that there are so many wonderful designer fragrances, and this is a designer list. So this is my personal opinion. Of course, there's so many I could mention, honorable mentions. I did want to men mention a few of them that would work so well for Valentine's or any uh, date type of situation. Bulgari's Man in Black, Dolce Gabbana the One, Polo Supreme Leather, and for the ladies, honorable mentions are Ar Armani Code Cashmere, um, Versace's Crystal Noir, Guerlain Isolence, and especially if you consider uh, Tom Ford's low-end or regular line as designer, man, Black Orchid is a wonderful date fragrance. And both guys and gals can pull that one off. So let's jump into the list. Top 10 designer fragrances. I'm going to alternate this. Ladies first, of course. So ladies first, then, then a guy's fragrance, then a lady's fragrance, and so on. So the first one. This is, so it's a lady's fragrance, Angel Muse by Mugle. So Angel Muse is a wonderful fragrance. It uh, has this dry chocolateness about it. It has Mugler patchouli, and I, I think the patchouli in Angel Muse is especially great. It uh, has that womanly, uh, you know, fragrance DNA that's very appealing. But it just has this chocolatey nuance, but uh, it's not too sweet. And it's not uh, too foodie that it would be off-putting. It's very versatile. But in a date situation, oh my goodness, you you would smell uh, really delectable. And um, <laughs> I can't say enough good about that fragrance. When I smelled it, it was one that really shocked me. And I think that this one has a bunch of universal appeal. So if you're a lady, I, I think that you would just love that fragrance. Unless you really dislike patchouli in any way. So... Let's jump to number two. This is another one that has mass appeal. And I wanted to get these first two kind of out of the way. And um, you all know this one was coming, if you're a guy especially. It's Londuit de Lome. So Londuit de Lome is a wonderful fragrance. And you all, all know about it. I probably don't need to say anything. I probably could just skip this part. But I wanted to say a few quick things. It's a very kind of a very interesting full-bodied lavender fragrance but the ca the uh, cardamom the, the that uh, soft spiciness is just so lovely and it just done so well yes performance is not great and uh, reformulations um, that was a bad deal but for date situations being close to people or when you want an inoffensive very very tantalizing fragrance for a guy it's really hard to beat Lawn Nuit de Lome, and I'm not going to go into it, but it, it does has some magic behind it. I can assure you of that. So the next one we have, for the, again, we're back at it with the ladies, is La Via Belle's Le Eclat. So this is a flanker of the original, and uh, I just feel like this one has some kind of fruitiness, almost a boozy fruitiness, almost a guava-like nature. The original was really good. But uh, it could seem kind of linear or kind of flat if you're really into fragrances. This one just brings some kind of fruity, invigorating quality to it. Now, if you're a gal who likes fruity fragrances, this one is it's going to be fantastic. It's, it, it's going to you know knock your socks off because it has a really uh, lively, very happy kind of nature to it. I think that this one would be great for a party fragrance as well. But if you just spray one, maybe two sprays of this, I, it's it has a sweetness behind it, a very wonderful womanly character behind it. And I think that this is one of the best designer fragrances for ladies in the game. So that's, again, my opinion. But uh, I have to jump through these because I don't want this to be a 20-minute video. But let's jump to the next one, guys and gals. This is Pure Tonka. This is for men. Now, a very confident lady could pull this one off, but I feel like it's the kind of dark aspect to it, almost smoky aspect to this fragrance. It leads more towards men. 
Now this fragrance too has a little bit of that chocolatey DNA. It has a lot of tonka, which is smells almost like a vanilla, but it's uh, more well-rounded and smells almost like it's been roasted, almost like a toasted kind of feel. So it's very sweet. It's a it's a very great fragrance in my opinion. If you like black opium, I think I think this has similarities with it, and this is kind of a masculine version of black opium, and in 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 a way. So this is simply one of the best uh, masculine releases, especially for the winter, in my opinion, in the designer world. And uh, if you haven't got your nose on it, I'd encourage you to. And um, I think la ladies around me have smelled this, and I've ha I've been. Uh, I wouldn't say chase, but I've been followed before wearing pure Tonka. So <laughs> the next one we have is Poison Girl. And uh, I think everybody just about, especially in the fragrance world, knows about Poison Girl. If you don't, it's a very well done womanly fragrance. Um, it's not boring at all, though. It has a little bit of classiness, a little bit of playfulness, a little bit of flirt. It just does almost everything right. But it has, I think, a little bit more of a feel that leads to nighttime. But it's a very versatile fragrance. And in a date situation, I mean, you're going to smell like, I don't, I don't know, you, you can't do much better than Poison Girl. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that. So the next one we have is Armani Code Absolute. So this one is a new flanker of the popular Armani Code. And of course, this one's for men. This one has a little bit more of a gentlemanly feel. I think this is a perfect uh, James Bond kind of fragrance for a cash if he was trying to be casual, or maybe he knew he was going to be in his own, you know, private hotel or private room. So it's kind of, has a little bit of booziness. It has the that kind of dark, alluring nature to it, but it's still ha it's still playful in its own way. It's uh, for a guy who likes to you know wear gray a gray suit, perhaps a very nice luxury uh, gray kind of vehicle. So I can't say enough good about this one. I can't wait to get my full-size bottle soon enough of that fragrance. So let's jump to Miss Dior Le, Perf Le Parfum. So I think everybody in the fragrance world knows about Miss Dior or has at least has heard of it. The Le Parfum, I think, gets kind of ignored. Perhaps like uh, Sauvage does, the Parfum version, it gets a little bit overshadowed. So this one has a little bit more depth. It has a little bit more of a, a reserved nature. But with that reserved nature, it brings a whole lot of confidence behind it. It's not as young or as, I guess you could say, immature as the first fragrance. It uh, really brings, a, you know, this... Um, I keep coming back to the word allure because of Valentine's Day, but um, it really has that that nature to it where it just, you know, pulls you in, but this one has kind of like a confident nature behind it. It's very soothing, and uh, it, of course, has that great womanly DNA that Miss Dior fragrance has. And if you're a lady who likes fragrances that are a little bit more floral, but still womanly, this one has a little bit more on the floral side Instead of, you know, Angel Muse being a little bit more on the sweet or gourmand side. So the Parfum version, it, it really performs and it really has a great character behind it. Let's jump to the next one, guys and gals. Next one is uh, Mason Margiela by the Fireplace. Now, I put this one for men, but this one is, for un is unisex and I have uh, encouraged ladies to go get out there. And uh, smell this fragrance and see if it's a smoky fragrance they like. Because I think it's one of the best, if not the best, you know, unisex kind of smoky fragrance. Here you get a little bit of that campfire vibe. For the first 30 or 40 minutes, it smells just like it and it's magic. Of course, it dies down and it starts revealing a very soft, very alluring nature. With iris and kind of a dry cocoa vibe. And um, amber. And um, it's and it's it's really a kind of gets lighter. It's it's very interesting, but the performance is still there. It uh, it does a fair job of that, of course. 
and um, like all of these, these are pretty good performers all around. And um, By the Fireplace, I think, is a fragrance that really deserves the hype that it's gotten. And I uh, can't say enough good about that one. It, uh, if I could give it an award, I really would. That's a 10 out of 10 fragrance. So uh, the next one is number 9. Now, there are wonderful fragrances out there. And um, I, I just had to give this one the the shot and the the chance in the fragrance world because i really think it deserves it this is ellie sobs Le parfum intense this one's for ladies now you probably haven't heard of this one this has that classic womanly dna the kind of dna that does the job and it gets good attention it's mass appealing of course with designer fragrances but this one is a little bit more fancy a little bit more classy but why it's so great for a Valentine's fragrance is because it's honeyed. It does has it pulls off that honeyed vibe and using that honey accord in the fragrance very well. The performance is good, but it's soft for a Valentine's situation when you're close to somebody. You probably don't want a fragrance that's really loud and um, that could be off-putting. You want something more subtle. And that's why the, I chose some of these that were more of a parfum. This is one of those fragrances that really does that job just perfectly. The amount of sweetness is just right. It has that complexity with the honey and uh, almost this airy um, Tonka-like feel. I, I can't say enough good about this one, too. I, I, I think this one is criminally underrated and slept on. And um, I give it some praise, especially for the price. I that that definitely is a factor when I recommend these fragrances is the price factor what you get for the money and right now this is one of the best and uh, it beat out some fragrances um, like uh, Ar Armani's um, In Love With You which is a newer release and getting a little bit of popularity that one would be very good to go with as well but I just had to give it to uh, Ellie Saab so number 10 or the last one for men is Cartier's Declaration de Un Soir Intense. So this is a flanker. There is a regular version. This is the intense version. This one has a little bit more depth. Overall, this is a rose-based fragrance for men, but it's one of the very few fragrances in the fragrance game at all. And it's in the designer list, and it's priced right, and it pulls it off very well. You get, again, a very soft, very well-done cardamom. That uh, kind of soft, almost gray spiciness that they, that they pulled off in La Nuit de Lome is here. Then you have a very well-crafted rose. And um, it's very, it has a complex nature to it, but it still smells kind of simple. It's hard to put into words, but um, it's very alluring. Ladies simply love it, especially if you're in a situation, you know, where you're dancing or, you know, you, you know, having an activity with one another. This is a fragrance that does well off the skin, high heat, sweat, those kinds of things. So I think this is a, for men, is a real, really good fragrance. If you're not afraid of Midnight in Paris or fragrances that, that might be considered metro, uh, for men, um, this is a simply, this, this might be the new fragrance that you really need to try out. There was some, some fragrance reviewers, uh, perhaps in the detail, uh, the details in the description, I'll try to link them. Um, and they really let me know about this fragrance. And when I smelled it, I, um, I, I knew it was a masterpiece. And uh, it's not for me personally, but I know that some of you guys out there would really love this fragrance. It's a great competitor to CH Privé and La Nuit de Lome. So without further ado, I'll close this video. But uh, thank you all for being here. If you've stuck around this long, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I think you would really like uh, you know my, my content, always upcoming, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and more, more videos as uh, frequently as I can. And uh, thank you all for being here and supporting me. Let me know your wonderful and fun plans for Valentine's. Let me know what fragrance you're going to be wearing that day. 
I would love to know that in the, you know, the comment section below. So thank you all again. I'll see y'all next time. This has been the Scented Dark Fragrance channel. Wear what you love, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.